Chapter 5, Lesson 3, Essential Question. How can you estimate decimal quotients? Unlock the problem. Carmen likes to ski. The ski resort where she goes to ski got 3 and 2 tenths feet of snow during a 5-day period. The average daily snowfall for any given number of days is the quotient of the total amount of snow and the number of days. Estimate the average daily snowfall. Press pause and underline what you are being asked to find and circle the important numbers. You should have underlined estimate the average daily snowfall and circled three and two tenths and five. Now they gave you a hint here kind of what the average how to find the average, they tell you that you take the daily snowfall for however many, so in our case the snowfall is 3 and 2 tenths, and it's the average is the quotient, that's the answer of the snowfall and the number of days, which the number of days is 5. So that's how we came up with the problem right here of 3 and 2 tenths divided by 5. Now with estimating, you can estimate decimal quotients by using compatible numbers. When using compatible numbers, you can look at the whole number part of a decimal dividend or rename the decimal dividend as tenths or hundredths. Now, you have to remember what compatible numbers are. Compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to work with in your head, like mental math, using usually basic facts or like the power of tens. And when they say that you look at the whole number part of the decimal, so that would be in this case just the three, but in our case, the three is less than five. So you can't divide 3 quickly and nicely and evenly in your head divided by 5. So we're looking at the second part because of the or. We're looking at renaming the decimal dividend as tenths or hundredths. So now that we've gone through what all of the words in here mean, we are now going to estimate 3 and 2 tenths divided by 5. So Carly and her friend Marco each find an estimate. Since the divisor is greater than the dividend, since the 5 is greater than 3 and 2 tenths, they both rename 3 and 2 tenths as tenths. To do that, we have to remember how many tenths does it take to make a whole. It takes 10 to make a whole. And how many holes do we have? We have three holes, so that means we have 30 tenths plus the two tenths. So three and two tenths is the same as 32 tenths. Let's look at Carly's estimate. 30 tenths is close to 32 tenths and divides easily by five. So we're going to use a basic fact to find 30 tenths divided by 5. Now she chose 30 tenths because she's using compatible numbers. 32 is how we renamed it to be tenths because 3 and 2 tenths is the same as 32 tenths. The compatible number of 30, we can divide it easily by 5 using mental math. And so 30 tenths divided by 5 is 6 tenths, or if you write it with your decimal, it's a decimal 6. So according to Carly's estimate, the average daily snowfall is about 6 tenths of a foot. Let's look at Marco's estimate. 35 tenths is close to 32 tenths and divides easily by 5. That's why he chose 35 instead of going 
down from 32, he w went up, and he went up to 35. So we're using the basic fact to find 35 tenths divided by 5. 35 tenths divided by 5, 35 divided by 5 is 7 tenths, or writing it as a decimal, it's decimal 7. The zero isn't necessary, but if you have it, that's okay. So the average daily snowfall is about 7 tenths of a foot. As we look at number 1 and number 2, but number 1 first, remember that with an estimate, both of these are considered good estimates, but we're going to be trying to figure out which one is closer. So whose estimate do you think is closer to the exact quotient? Explain your reasoning. Think about it. Carly went from 32 to 30, while Marco went from 32 to 35. Fill in this sentence. Blank is closer because, and then explain your reasoning. Why? Your answer should be similar to Carly is closer because 30 is closer to 32 than 35, and they use the same device, divisor. 30 is only 2 away from 32, while 35 is 3 away. Looking at number 2, explain how you would rename the dividend 29 and 7 tenths in 29 and 7 tenths divided by 40 to choose compatible numbers and estimate the quotient. So what they're asking is, would you round this to use a compatible number that is close to um, 29 and 7 tenths, or would you rename this as 297 divided by 40? 40. Remember, look at this, your whole number and your divisor, which one's greater, and then which compatible numbers would you actually use. My sentence is, I would rename 29 and 7 tenths as 297 tenths and use a compatible number that divides by 40. The one, probably the best one, would be 280, that's close to 297, but I also know that 28 divides by 4 nicely, so it should also divide by 40, so 28 divided by 4 is 7, with my 0, my answer is 7 because these zeros cancel each other out. Looking right here, so when you estimate quotients with compatible numbers, the number you use for the dividend can be greater or less than the dividend. Example, a group of 31 students is going to visit the museum. The total cost for the tickets is $144.15. About how much money will each student need to pay for a ticket? estimate. So underline what you're being asked to find, circle the important numbers. You should have underlined about how much money will each student need to pay for a ticket and circle 31 students and $144.15. I darkened a below the word about because that is the word that tells you to estimate. So now we're going to use two different sets of compatible numbers. First, we're going to use a whole number greater than the dividend. Remember, the dividend is the number that we are splitting up. So use a whole number greater than the dividend. We are using 30 for the divisor because 30 is extremely close to 31. And then now we needed to find a number close to but greater than 144 and 15 cents that divides easily by 30. Or really, because it's a power of 10, 
Um, multiple of 10, we're going to use just the 3. So they chose 150 because if we cover up this 0, that's 15. And then, so 150 divided by 30, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. And those zeros, just we don't need to add one. So each student will pay about $5 for a ticket. So now if we look at B, we're going to use one that is less than the dividend. We're still using 30 as our divisor. So a number that is close to $144.15 that divides easily by 30 or 3. Um, the next closest one is 120. Uh, so that's like 12 divided by 3, but it's 120 divided by 30. That is 4. So each student will pay about $4 for a ticket. Looking at number 3, asking about these questions, which estimate do you think would be a better estimate of the cost of the ticket and explain your reasoning? The $5 estimate because when working with money, it's always better to estimate high to make sure that you have enough money. There are a few cases where it's okay to have a lower estimate, but with money, you generally always want to use the higher estimate just to be safe in real life as well. In the share and show problems, they want you to use compatible numbers to estimate the quotient. 28 is larger than 9, so you can just use a compatible number close to 28. Um, 393 and 5 tenths, 393 is larger than 41, so you don't need to rename them into tenths. You can just find a compatible number close to 393. The same thing goes for 3, 4, and 5. Remember, we're estimating. We are not finding actuals. In number 3, one, uh, 20 is the more reasonable answer, but I would accept the blue. If you got all these correct, wait for a extra hint on the on your own which will also be on your homework. You also need to finish and turn in your exit ticket. If you got any of these incorrect please look back and see if you can find where you made your mistake. If you are still in need of assistance please raise your hand. Looking at the on your own problems looking at number 10 I want you to see right here that 32 and 4 tenths divided by 52 32, the whole number, is less than 52, so that's the signal to you that you need to rename your three, 32 and 4 tenths into just tenths. So we need to name that, rename that as 324, and just remember that your answer is going to be in the tenths, divided by 52, and then you still need to find the compatible numbers to divide by. That's going to be a 50. And that your answer is going to have zero whole numbers and in the tenths place. You may now begin. Work on the on your own and the problem solving after your exit ticket if you have not already completed it.